Glory to God the Father and Son Yeshua Mashiach. Leviticus chapter 24 Oil for the Lamps V.I. Adonai said to Moshe, Order the people of Israel to bring you pure oil from crushed olives for the light, to keep lamps burning always. Outside the curtain of the testimony in the tent of meeting, Aharon is to arrange for the light to be kept burning always from evening until morning before Adonai. This is to be a permanent regulation through all your generations. He is always to keep in order the lamps on the pure menorah before Adonai. The Shewbread You are to take fine flour and use it to bake twelve loaves, one gallon per loaf. Arrange them in two rows, six in a row, on the pure table before Adonai. Put frankincense with each row to be an offering made by fire to Adonai in place of the bread and as a reminder of it. Regularly, every Shabbat, he is to arrange them before Adonai, they are from the people of Israel, as a covenant forever. They will belong to Aharon and his sons, and they are to eat them in a holy place, because for him they are, of the offerings for Adonai made by fire, especially holy. This is a permanent law. Law of the Sanctified Name of God There was a man who was the son of a woman of Israel and an Egyptian father. He went out among the people of Israel, and this son of a woman of Israel had a fight in the camp with a man of Israel. In the course of which the son of the woman of Israel uttered the name, yud Hey vav Hey in a curse. So they brought him to Moshe. His mother's name was Shlomit the daughter of Dibri, of the tribe of Dan. They put him under guard until Adonai would tell them what to do. Adonai said to Moshe, Take the man who cursed outside the camp, have everyone who heard him lay their hands on his head, and have the entire community stone him. Then tell the people of Israel, whoever curses his God will bear the consequences of his sin. And whoever blasphemes the name of Adonai must be put to death. The entire community must stone him. The foreigner as well as the citizen is to be put to death if he blasphemes the name. Anyone who strikes another person and kills him must be put to death. Anyone who strikes an animal and kills it is to make restitution, life for life. If someone injures his neighbor, what he did is to be done to him. Break for break, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, whatever injury he has caused the other person is to be rendered to him in return. Maftir, he who kills an animal is to make restitution, but he who kills another person is to be put to death. You are to apply the same standard of judgment to the foreigner as to the citizen, because I am Adonai your God. So Moshe spoke to the people of Israel, and they took the man who had cursed outside the camp and stoned him to death. Thus the people of Israel did as Adonai had ordered Moshe, Haftarah Emma. Yeshezkel, Ezekiel, chapter 44 verses 15 to 31 Birat Hadashah suggested readings for Parashah Emma. Matajahu, Matthew, chapter 5 verses 38 to 42, Galatians chapter 3 verses 26 to 29, in connection with the feasts, see readings for Parashah 41.